We start tonight with breaking news. Within the last hour, we learned a sixth person who works at the Colbert County Courthouse tested positive for coronavirus. Right now, the probate judge's office is closed, but the rest of the courthouse is open. This afternoon, the U.S. surpassed another milestone in its battle against the virus. The total number of cases since the pandemic began has surpassed 10 million. The U.S. not only has more reported cases than any other nation in the world, but also the outbreak is spreading faster than ever. It only took 10 days for the U.S. to add another 10 million, or rather another million cases. Alabama added 980 new cases within the last 24 hours. There are now close to 174,000 confirmed cases and another more than 31,000 probable cases. Close to 2,900 people have died from the virus. Thank you for joining us. I'm Naja Sherman. And I'm Dan Schaefer. We're going to straight to Way 31's Breck and Terry now. She's live outside the courthouse after speaking with several county officials about this recent outbreak in cases. Breck and Yeah, guys, right now we know five employees from the probate judge's office, including Colbert County probate judge Daniel Rosser himself and one person from the board of registrar's office have tested positive. Now, I briefly spoke with Judge Rosser this morning. He was coughing and he told me he was not up for an interview, but he did give me some details on this outbreak. Now, Judge Rosser and others believe the outbreak is connected to the election. Both the probate judge's office and the registrar's office worked hand in hand on the election last Tuesday. He said it was after that when employees started getting sick. County Administrator Roger Creekmore said everyone who is sick did work the election and they're keeping an eye on other departments in the courthouse, but believe this is isolated to these two departments. Now, Creekmore also told me that they do have these large UV uh, lights that are inside of the courthouse that are used to disinfect areas. They've got hand sanitizer and other cleaning methods as well. He told me right now uh, there are no conversations between county commissioners uh, about closing the courthouse. So that is what we know right now. The courthouse is going to stay open, but the probate judge's office for now is closed. Live in Tuscumbia, Breck and Terry, Way 31 News.